behind the axle steering. Do you need it? Stay tuned and find out. If you're new here guys, I cover everything from RC rock crawling to RC bashing. So please consider subscribing and tapping that bell notification button so you can see anytime I post new videos. Now, let's get into today's video. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. As you can see, I got a few rigs up here and I wanna talk about something that has kind of been on my mind and that would be behind the axle steering. So I got a couple of trucks here uh, with the behind the axle steering and I have one that does not. Uh, does it matter? Does it make a difference? Is it something that you need? Uh, first, I will say I do not think it makes a difference. I have run these rigs countless number of times and I have never come across anything where I was like, man, if I would have behind the axle steering, I would have made that line. Um, in my opinion, I think it's just a kind of new feature that kind of just pushing out there as maybe something to differentiate itself from the competition. Um, but if you were to have both these trucks stock for stock, uh, one having the behind the axle, one having it in the front, I don't think at any point you're going to come up to an obstacle and that be a difference on the in front of the axle here you can see uh it's still behind the tires here so these tires are gonna hit almost anything when you're trying to cross some lines the only time that this link is gonna get smashed is if you're just trying to go straight over big obstacles but if you're picking lines and you're you're crawling up and over and around things you're gonna be setting your tires up and going over stuff so your tires are gonna hit that first um the element kit here there's nothing here. So it looks kind of blank and it's not very scale. Um, I don't ever really even notice it or think about it when I'm driving this truck. And yes, I do prefer this truck, but it's not because of the behind the axle steering. There's uh, many other reasons, which I'll have to touch in in another video. But if we're talking behind the axle steering, in my opinion, it's kind of, it's just a miss. It's not anything that I think change the game on any of these trucks. Uh, this is the HPI. They advertise it as well. This is the uh, Scale Builders Kit. And, you know, it's tucked in behind there and it's still a pretty ugly axle up front. Uh, the Element Axle is a little bit better over the HPI one, but it does, it kind of looks funny uh, without that link there. If you look here, you know, you got the steering link. It looks it looks a little bit more scale in my opinion to have that link and if you inspect this link i'll hold it up close for you guys i mean that thing is not even really scratched or anything which means it's not even really hitting so i don't think that the behind the axle steering is anything more than a cheap gimmick i mean feel free to correct me down in the comments or just let me know your opinion on what you think of the behind the axle steering but I kind of just wanted to go over that quick and kind of get this information out there for you guys. If maybe uh, you're new and you're looking at rigs, uh, don't even really worry about the behind the axle steering. They're, these are the only two trucks that I could find on the market that have behind the axle steering. That would be the HPI Scale Builders Kit or the HPI Venture uh, Ready to Run is gonna have the same setup. And the new Element trucks also have it uh the axials do not i looked at cross rc the ventera ascender and they're all using that so i'm not really sure what these guys were thinking when they decided to do it um it's it's not a problem it's not anything like ah uh, and i could probably use something different flip the plates around or something maybe and put it in the front but that'd be i think more trouble than what it, it it's worth uh because obviously it doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't make a, a difference where it is. But um, if you can think of any terrain where that the behind the axle would be a benefit, please let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. But uh, those are my thoughts on it. I just want to take this quick minute here, guys, and just kind of share 
uh, my opinion on the behind the axle steering. So that's it. That's my piece. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, don't forget, like this video, comment below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.